Welcome to Walking with Jesus, a devotional journey through books of the Bible from Forest Hill Presbyterian Church. I'm Pastor Jason Van Bemmel. Well, we are in day 56 of our journey through Hebrews, coming really close to the end in Hebrews chapter 13, looking at verses 18 and 19 today, and asking this question, do our prayers really make a difference? Do our prayers really make a difference? Here's Hebrews 13, 18 and 19. Pray for us. For we are sure that we have a clear conscience, desiring to act honorably in all things. I urge you the more earnestly to do this, in order that I may be restored to you the sooner. Again, that's Hebrews 13, 18 and 19 in the English Standard Version. You ever wonder why we need to pray? After all, if God is sovereign, and if he knows all things, and if he's had everything planned out from before the foundation of the world, what difference can it make if we pray? One way to respond to questions like that is to consider the ways in which prayer changes us when we pray. One reason why we need to pray is because we need our hearts to be changed, and our hearts are profoundly shaped when we pray. When we pray for someone, we come to love that person more. When we pray about a difficult situation, we come to trust God more for the outcome of that situation. In one of my favorite scenes from one of my favorite movies, Shadowlands, C.S. Lewis, played by Anthony Hopkins, has been praying for his wife, Joy Davidman. She has cancer, she was on the verge of death, but as he's praying, she begins to get better. And so Jack, that's what C.S. Lewis's friends called him, Jack is encouraged and his friend affirms to him that God is answering his prayers. And Lewis says this, that's not why I pray. I pray because I can't help myself. I pray because I'm helpless. I pray because the need flows out of me all the time, waking and sleeping. It doesn't change God, it changes me. Now, C.S. Lewis never actually wrote or said those words, as far as we know, but it does seem to capture well what he might have said. It's a great thought, really. Of course my prayers don't change God. How horrible that would be. Imagine if I, by my words or thoughts, could change God. How would God change? Would I be telling him information he doesn't already know? Could I convince him to change his mind and give in to my superior wisdom? Not. So if prayer doesn't change God, does that mean that the only thing prayer changes is us? Is prayer entirely a matter of growing in love, humility, and trust? No, at least not if we're going to take verses 18 and 19 of Hebrews 13 seriously. Here the author of Hebrews is asking for prayer. He's even earnestly urging the readers of his letter to pray for him. And why? in order that I may be restored to you the sooner. He doesn't say, pray for me so that you will come to love me more. That would be weird. He doesn't say, pray for me so that you would learn to trust God more through this difficult circumstance. No, he believes, and it's in God's inerrant word, that their prayers would speed his return to them. So do our prayers make a difference? Yes. How? Well, we can't say exactly and fully, can we? We know that our prayers don't change God, but it does seem that our prayers can affect the timing of God's work and can shape other things in important ways. We pray for someone's salvation because we believe God alone can save and we believe God will answer our prayer and save them. How is this possible? Because God ordained it that way. God's plans for the world include us, our prayers, our preaching, our sharing of the gospel, our service and love, our obedience to God, are all part of the plan of God and are genuinely used by him for his glory and the fulfillment of his plan for the world and for his people. So yes, our prayers really matter. They do make a difference. We are called to pray and even eagerly urged to pray because the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working, as James 5.16 says. So keep praying. Pray for me and pray for one another.